Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Franny and today is Vlogmas Day 22. So in today's Vlogmas video I would like to share with you all the books that are coming out in 2019 and that I am highly anticipating. And at first I didn't want to make this video because I didn't think I knew of enough books that were coming out next year and that I was, you know, waiting for, but then I saw so many booktubers do this video and it just got me so excited about all the books that are coming out next year and I went to check on my shelf on Goodreads and I realized that there were quite a few books on that shelf that I was highly anticipating and so I had, you know, some material for this kind of video. In fact, I'm not going to discuss today all the books that are on that shelf because otherwise this video would be too long and I just, I had no idea there were that many books on that shelf. So if you want to know all the books that are coming out in 2019 that I'm kind of interested in checking out, I will leave the link to that Goodreads shelf in the description down below because in this video I'm just going to tell you the books that I'm highly highly anticipating and that I'm most likely to pick up as soon as they come out. So without wasting any more time, let's just get started because there are quite a few books to talk about. I apologize if I'll be looking down from time to time because I have written down on a file on my computer all the titles and authors and release dates and there was no in hell I was going to remember all of this. So technology is helping out today. So first, coming out on January 8th, we have The Remarkable Journey of Coyote Sunrise by Dan Gamenhart. And this should be a middle grade book. It is about a girl and her dad. They have been living in a school bus for five years since when Coyote's mother and her two sisters died in a car crash. And one day she finds out that the park in her old neighborhood is being demolished and she wants to go back so she kind of tricks her dad into going back to her old house. So it's about their journey back home and about all the weird people and characters that they will meet along the way. And this is the kind of book that I love with road trips and a father-daughter relationship and with weird characters popping here and there. I have good feelings. Then coming out on January 22nd, there's The Cold in Her Bones by Peter Nell Van Arsdale. What a name! Uh, and this should be a YA historical fiction about a girl who lives in a small village and in this village there are demons that possess girls at random. But her friend one day gets possessed by a demon and is taken away and the main character will embark on a journey to save her friend. I cannot tell you why to be honest but there's something about this book and about this story that just calls out to me and it's not too long. I think it's like 250 pages or something like that so I definitely want to check it out. Then we go to February the 12th and the book coming out on that day is Lost Children Archive by Valeria Luiselli. It sounds like an Italian name but she is not an Italian author. She was born in Mexico City but she grew up in South Africa. Just how cool is that? This book has a very complicated synopsis, so I'm just going to read to you some bits here and there to give you a general idea. It says here that this is a fiercely imaginative novel about a family summer road trip across America, another road trip from New York to Arizona, a journey that with breathtaking imagery, spare lyricism and profound humanity probes the nature of justice and equality in America today. That is so appealing to me. And it says here that the father is a sound documentarist and he hopes to gather an inventory of echoes from this historic and mythic place. The mother is a radio journalist and this book is told through the voices of the mother and her son as well as through a stunning tapestry of collected texts and images. And I just love books that experiment with different formats and media within them and I just, I am so excited. 
On the 2nd of April comes out The Spectators by Jennifer Dubois. I've already talked to you about this book in a tag. I don't remember which one it was, but I will leave it somewhere when I find out. Um, and basically this book is about a shocking crime triggers a media firestorm for a controversial talk show host in this provocative novel. So it's about this talk show host that uncovers live the secrets and scandals of VIPs and one day there's a mass shooting and the people that were responsible for this mass shooting are fans of this TV show host. And so this TV show host will be in the spotlight and there's going to be investigations and it says here that with wit, heart and crackling intelligence, The Spectators examines the human capacity for reinvention and forces us to ask ourselves what we choose to look at and why. I love it. Also on the 2nd of April comes out Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan and this is the first book in the Something Dark and Holy series. I don't know if it's going to be a trilogy or whatnot and I don't know a lot about the synopsis. It says here that there's a girl that can speak to gods which already intrigues me so so much but I've heard that this book is kind of similar to Game of Thrones I don't need to know anything else, to be honest. Let's just leave it at that. On April 16th comes out Miracle Creek by Angie Kim. This is a literary courtroom drama about a Korean immigrant family and a young single mother accused of murdering her 8-year-old autistic son. Courtroom drama. I am so down for it and it says here that it is perfect for fans of Celeste Ng. I haven't read anything by Celeste Ng yet but I really want to. All her books are on my TBR and this sounds like something I would enjoy because I love courtroom drama and I think that in this time of history we should all be reading books that have immigrants in them to try and empathize a little bit more so. And also on April 16th comes out The Raven's Tale by Kat Winters. Kat Winters has written quite a few YA books and I remember that ages ago I read one short story by Kat Winters and I really liked her writing style but I never read anything else by her and this book is about 17 year old Edgar Poe, which reminds me of Edgar Allan Poe, and the reason why I'm so interested in reading this book is this. There are some creatures called muses. Muses are frightful creatures that lead artists down a path of ruin and disgrace, and no respectable person could possibly understand or accept them. But I think they'll have something to do with Edgar Poe. Do you need to know anything else? I don't think so. And can we just please take a second to look at this cover? No, because I mean just, it's, it's gorgeous. On May 7th comes out Nocturna by Maya Motain. I think that's how you pronounce her name. There is no cover for this book yet, but this is her debut and it is the first book in the A Forgery of Magic series. And there are three reasons why I want to read this book. First reason. To Finn Boy, magic is two things. The first, a knife to hold under the chin of anyone who crosses her. The second, a disguise that she shrugs on as easily as others pull on cloaks. Second reason. She is a shapeshifter and she has to steal a legendary treasure, which is one of my favorite plot slash tropes Ever, when there's a character that has to steal something, I'm in. And the third reason is set in a Latin inspired kingdom based in part on the author's own Dominican heritage. There you go. 
Also, on May 7th comes out a book that I've already talked to you about, once again, and it is With the Fire on High by Elizabeth Acevedo, and this is about a girl who got pregnant during her freshman year, and so she left university, and she started working, but she wants to become a chef. I wanted to read Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo, but that book was in verse, and I really don't get along well with verse. This one, however, is in prose, so it's something that I think I will will enjoy, plus there is cooking involved, and when there's cooking involved, I'm a happy bunny. I know that the lighting has changed, you guys, I just, please forgive me, but the sun has set. Yeah, we're gonna have to deal with that. So, coming out on May 21st is The Confessions of Franny Langton by Sarah Collins. Now, I know what you're thinking, Franny, you want to read this book because there is the name Franny in the title. I'm shallow like that, I won't lie, that's what caught my attention at first, but then I read the synopsis and it's actually really, really interesting. This book is about this woman, Franny Langton, who is accused of a brutal double murder. She's also accused of being a seductress, a witch, a master manipulator and a whore and it deals with race, class and oppression and it says here that it's the story of a woman of her own making in a world that will see her unmade. What else do you need? What else? Nespresso. Now, this is a weird one. It comes out on May 28th and it is A Box of Bones by Marina Cohen. And I had never heard of this author, I had never heard of the publisher, and this is also middle grade, which I usually don't go for. I saw it on Negali, and I don't know what it was, perhaps it was the cover, perhaps it's the synopsis. 12-year-old Kali despises nonsense. She believes that there's a rational explanation for everything. But at the town's local festival of fools, Kali meets a faceless man who gives her a strange wooden puzzle box. And without realizing it, she kind of sets something free out of this box and she has to deal with that. I don't know, I really want to check this out. Perhaps it's going to be a disappointment, I don't know, but I want to check it out. And last but not least, I have Teeth in the Mist by Don Kurdajic. And this here is a genre-bending epic horror fantasy inspired by the legend of Faust. And this book is about three different women, one in the present time, one in 1851 and the other one in 1583. And these three women are centuries apart, but they are drawn together by one unholy Fact. And I have read, what was it called? The Dead House by Don Kurdjik and I really enjoyed that book back when I read it, so I will be reading it on June 11th and I cannot wait. And this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Let me know in the comments if you had heard of any of these books, if you're interested in one of them, if there are other new releases that I haven't talked about but you think I should check out. Let me know down in the comments and I will see you tomorrow with another Vlogmas video. For hugs.